Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of May 18th. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, all you have to do is show up and I will be here. But uh, Aries, let's see what is going on for you this week. And uh, it looks good so far. Yeah, a lot of people getting the uh, two of club, two of uh, cups this week. So definitely could be a good love week this week. Uh, definitely some cards of patience. Let's keep this going. A lot of people getting the judgment card as well here, which is interesting. So uh, let's keep it going. Uh, all right, Aries. Let's see what we have going on for you. Uh, Aries, you start off with this uh, diligence card this week, so I do feel like it's time, and I, I would pay attention to the details this week with the diligence card. You also have the Nine of Wands as well, and the Nine of Wands isn't really a card of diligence necessarily, but um, it is a card of kind of like experimentation and potentially trying new things. So I feel like it would be a really good week for you to try new things or to kind of like pay attention to the details uh, with this card. Uh, next, you have the Two of Cups here and the Jack of Clubs. Uh, definitely could be love coming in for you here. Uh, I feel like for some of you, this could be love. For others, this could be like you beating yourself up over something from the past with that Jack of Clubs. So as I always say with the Jack of Clubs, don't beat yourself up over the past. You know, let go of those kind of like fears and, th and things like that as well. Uh, the Jack of Clubs is kind of like a card of, it's called the whip and it represents like whipping yourself in the back or, you know, beating yourself up over something from the past. So I feel like some of you need to kind of like let go of that type of energy here. And it could be about love. Uh, next, you have the Nine of Clubs here, Aries, and the Three of Hearts. Yeah, I love the Three of Hearts. Three of Hearts, to me, is a card that says you're moving in the right direction. Uh, to me, the Three of Hearts is a card of just kind of direction. It's I call it an indicator card. To me, it just indicates the direction of the reading, and it says things are moving forward in, in the right way. Nine of Wands says don't give up. Tons, Almost every single sign had some sort of message about not giving up or needing to see something through to the end. So I feel like for a lot of you, this says like, don't give up on your a dream or don't give up on something that you're trying to manifest in your life uh, because I feel like you will be successful, but I feel like you have to keep pushing uh, with that nine of wands. Uh, next, you have the king of wands here and the queen of wands. I feel, or queen of clubs. I feel like this is your energy here. Queen of clubs is a card of seduction in the playing card reading system. Again, I read playing cards very differently than I read tarot. But the Queen of Clubs is like seduction or being seduced into something. That King of Clubs could be you here in a very strong position. The King of Clubs is also a card that represents kind of like being protected from fire. Uh, there is a salamander here and pretty much every single you know, clubs card that exists, every single court card in every single deck ever made <laughs> uh, has a salamander on it. The salamander mythology is that salamanders cannot be burned by fire. So in a lot of ways, it kind of represents you being protected and it kind of represents protection this week as well. Uh, really, I feel like this is talking about wholehearted energy. I feel like this says that if you are diligent and hardworking and if you are perseverant and you don't give up with this nine of wands, you can have whatever you want. Uh, I literally think you can make pigs fly. Uh, you have the pig spirit here. It says use your mind wisely. But I feel like with like diligence, hard work, persistence, and also wholehearted energy this week, you could accomplish pretty much anything you want this week. I feel like you could, I feel like there's just great potential this week for you to make things happen with all these cards here. So uh, yeah, definitely really like that for you, Aries. Next, you have the Seven of Pentacles here and the Ten of Hearts. Uh, this is like fortune after difficulty. The Seven of Pentacles is very slow results. Seven of Pentacles is delayed results or, you know, slow growth on something that you've been trying to get growing in your life. And it is a card of growth, but it's like slow. It, to me, it can also represent building something in your life that produces fruit, you know, produces a harvest forever, you know, for life. So some of you could be like trying to build a business or get a job, or it could even be a relationship that is very fulfilling to you for a very long period of time. Kind of a weird message there as well. I almost never say that about the Seven of Pentacles, but... 
And that's a message I'm getting. So I feel like you're like trying to build something very permanent in your life, something that keeps providing um, for you. So love it. Ten of, Ten of hearts is amazing. Like I said, fortune after difficulty and definitely getting something you want. Uh, next, you have the temperance card and the four of hearts. So uh, I feel like you have to be patient. Four of hearts, by the way, the four of hearts and the four of diamonds in the playing card reading system, they both represent patience. They both represent things happening in your life, but maybe just not as quickly as you would like. As I've said to pretty much every single sign this week, it, I mean, it's a weird week. It, definitely the readings have been strange for sure. <laughs> and uh, what I would say is it kind of looks like kind of a slow week, kind of boring. So uh, for you, it's definitely a little bit more exciting than everybody else, but I feel like it's kind of slow and we have to be patient and all this other stuff. For others, this could be like patience for love. So Obviously, with the uh, quarantine situation, it's like maybe you can't just run out and get love right now, but I do feel like there could be love coming in for you in the future there. Uh, next, you have the Seven of Wands here and the Jack of Diamonds. Yeah, new love, like I said. Uh, two Sevens here. Two Sevens is internal fears that don't exist here, Aries. So I feel like some of you need to let go of your fears, but I do feel like some of you could be like finding improvements here in pretty much all areas of your life with these cards. I also feel like some of you could be like opening, I feel like you are opening up to a new way of making money, literally is popping into my head. For some of you, I feel like this could be like a side hustle. For others, I feel like it could just be another part of your job or another part of your business. But for some reason, I feel like there's a lot of financial luck for you. I, I feel like saying there's something that you are catching on to very very quickly as well. So for some of you, I feel like this could be at work or business. This is almost like maybe a skill or ability that you didn't know you had, or maybe you do know that you had it, but it's like you're catching on to some something new uh, very quickly, and I feel like it's going to be very good for you. So if you're doing anything new, like work or business-wise, I feel like there could be a lot of success there. Um, again, you could be retired, and you could still be working, or you could still be you know, working on a side hustle or something like that. So I feel a lot of that energy for you here, Aries. Uh, next, you have the poised card. Now, this is just a card of like kind of like being ready for something in your life. I feel like you are ready for some sort of dream here with this last row. Uh, this looks very, very positive, actually. The um, You have the judgment card in the moon. People don't really like the moon card, Aries, but to me, the moon can actually be extremely positive because the moon can represent some sort of fantasy or some sort of illusion that and a lot of people would say that it represents fears, which it does. But they would say that it could represent some sort of fantasy that cannot be achieved. But really, the moon just represents needing to use your powers of manifestation, needing to ground something in reality. And I feel like a lot of you are just ready to do that. I feel like you are ready to kind of create your own reality with that poise card. Uh, next, you have the judgment card here and the eight of spades. Yeah, I feel like some of you do need a break. Uh, this has come up for several signs as well, Aries, that maybe, you know, if you're tired or exhausted or anything like that, take a break. Like this is saying, you know, don't push, don't work yourself to the bone here with the eight of spades. The judgment card is like your inner calling. I do feel like some of you, like I said, it's almost like you're re having a realization, like I said, on this jack of diamonds about work or about some sort of skill that you have that could lead to a lot of success. So I feel like you need to kind of like follow those realizations or follow those like feelings about something because I feel like there's a lot of success for you. I also feel like for others, this could be like a wake up call for you here. Um, I feel like for some of you, it has to do with time. This might only be for like one of you. Very weird messages popping into my head here, Aries, but it's almost like some of you feel like you're running out of time or there is no time or something. And that could be making you like start something new, like I said, like a business or a job or something like that. Uh, next, you have the moon card here, Aries, and the six of diamonds. Yep. Um, Aries. <laughs> the moon, to me, it, like I said, is like something that you want to manifest. I feel like you need to believe in yourself. Like I said, I'm getting like pigs fly on this pig spirit card. That pig does have wings on it on that card, but um, I, I do feel like literally you could be making pigs fly, which, you know, it's kind of like if you're, if you don't know the saying, it's like pig, pigs will fly is like a saying that you're doing something that seems impossible, right? So I feel like some of you can achieve the impossible. You just have to believe it. Six of diamonds is called the clover, and it's like a four-leaf clover here, Aries, but it can also represent 
imposter syndrome. It's like a very good card. It's a card of a lot of luck being successful. But when you think about it, like how many four leaf clovers do you find in a clover patch? Not like usually not very many, right? So it's like a card of being different. And it's a card of feeling different when you're even, even if you're better at doing something. So it's like a card of needing to believe in yourself, needing to believe that you deserve whatever your fantasy is, whatever you, it could also be a fear as well. Sometimes we want things that we fear, right? Sometimes Sometimes we want things that maybe we are a little bit afraid of, like love, for example. You know, that's that happens to a lot of people. It happens to pretty much everybody, right? It's like we want love, but we have a lot of fears surrounding it. So I feel like this is like needing to realize that you are good enough here, Aries. And uh, finally, you have the Hermit card here in the Ace of Spades, existing problems being resolved. This is like overcoming some sort of difficulty. The Hermit is just having gone through and like faced your shadow. Uh, judgment would kind of make sense here as well. So I feel like a lot of you have done some shadow work and it's like you're coming out the other side, Aries. Uh, you also have the desert as your archetype this week. Uh, this can represent kind of like going through a period of time where there is no progress but needing to keep pushing forward. And it's also a card that says like knowing when to cut your losses. And so I feel like some of you could be dealing with that. But for the most part, I feel like it's saying keep going. It's like you're just in a period of time where maybe you're not seeing as quick results. Uh, this is a very good reading for you here, Aries. There's like a lot of success. Again, fortune after difficulty as well. Uh, to me, there is love showing up here, but I don't really feel like it's a love reading, if that makes sense. It's like there is love here, two of cups, jack of clubs. But it's like to me, this is more of a reading that's talking about like fortune after difficulty, patience with this four of hearts, three of hearts, things moving in the right direction. So I don't really feel like it's a love reading, if that makes sense, but definitely a lot of success. And again, I feel like you could be having, um, I feel like the most important thing this week is, is it's like you are realizing that something is possible in your life with this, with this, and with this right here. Um, so I feel like you need to move towards something that you realize is possible. It could be like starting a business, a side hustle, it could be a relationship, it could be anything. So I feel like you need to move towards it, but uh, it looks really good. Very interesting. So thank you, Aries, and enjoy your week.